Good morning, it's quarter to eight on a Sunday morning. What an anti-social time for me to be up. <laughs> For a musician, though, it's fine. I'm actually feeling okay. I woke up at six and I thought, I'm not going to be able to get back to sleep. This is a nightmare, but I did, actually. So I've got a rehearsal today over at my boyfriend's place with a number of us having a bit of an experimental playthrough of some stuff, and I don't even know what yet. But I made a little list during the week um, and played through a few things ready for that, so we'll see how that goes. Now... I'm falling victim to the lack of trains again. They're electrifying the railway lines around these parts. And in the meantime, we've got years and years of disruption. So I've got to get a bus instead of a train and it takes more than twice as long, I'd say, I wanna say. Maybe, maybe twice as long. And then I've got another train and I've got a big wait in between the two things. So it is gonna take me hours to get there. Hence, I'm up so early after a gig yesterday. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get some coffee on and um, get myself ready. Well, this is about your 9.30 update. As you can see, we have beautiful sunny weather. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the bus, which hasn't turned up. It's about a quarter of an hour late now. I was looking on the app and the next train I need to get is canceled. So I was checking to see the timing of that, making sure I could get the connection. That's even canceled, so I couldn't even get all the way there, but I could get to Newport. So I messaged the basis and said, is there any way you could pick me up from Newport on your way through? He said, I'll pick you up from home. So I'm going home with all my stuff that I've carried here. <laughs> We've got a big backpack on. I got my camera bag, I got a carrier bag down there full of bits and bobs anyway. So I'm going home and yeah, get a bit of time at home. I'm gonna start me editing. <laughs> oh, and I need to try and get a refund on my nearly 20 pounds with train ticket I just bought and now can't use. Imo is grumpy. I've been trying to get a refund on my ticket. It was over 16 pound it was. And uh, all I can get back is two pound because I bought split save, so two tickets. The first one was technically running, even though it hadn't come in the 15 minutes after it should have been due, so I don't know if it's even there now. The second one was cancelled, but it wouldn't refund the first ticket because that was running. <laughs> so it only refunded the second one. And then there was an admin fee of three quid. So all I get is two quid somehow or another. So I'm really cross about it because I couldn't have made, I had to cancel the whole lot because I couldn't have got to my destination in time for the rehearsal. So I couldn't do my journey. So I think it should have refunded the whole lot and not done a flipping admin fee because it's the train company's fault. Not mine. Oh, it's so frustrating. My daughter's been having trouble with trains just being canceled like no notice at all. And she's been late for college so, so, so many times over the last months. It's unbelievable. And she'd be hours trying to get to get there and just stranded waiting for canceled train after canceled train. It's just, it's a very frustrating period. <laughs> at the moment, really is. I'll be so glad when it's all done. Anyway, I've checked the time. I've actually got two hours spare now because that's how much quicker it's gonna to take to get there by car. Two spare hours, so I'm gonna try and edit the vlog that I filmed yesterday because I didn't know when on earth I was gonna get that done. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just under an hour into my edit of uh, what will have been the yesterday's vlog for you now. I'm, I'm probably just a little bit more than halfway through the rough cut. So that's going well, very pleased. But I've got a bit of time now. So I'm gonna pop out quickly and see if I can get myself a loaf of bread to take to IB's. As you can see, I've been drinking my coffee that I made for the bus whilst sitting at my desk there, but it was very nice and I did enjoy that. Handy shopping bag. I see bread. Well, I didn't come in to get a cheese and onion pasty as well, but that's what I've ended up buying because I smelt them and that was that. That's that big bloom I popped in my bag and my pasty. I'll probably eat that just before I go, I think, but I'm going to go and do a bit more editing first. It's 20 to 12 now. I've just finished my rough cut. I've got that pasty to eat, so I think what I'm going to do now in the 20 minutes left before I get collected is I'm going to eat the pasty and maybe do some Duolingo and just sit next to my packed bags so that I'm ready to go as soon as there's a text. Well, we've got a lovely road closure, so we're taking a little diversion through Merthyr and hoping we can get to where we need to get to. Finally back on track after a massive diversion. It's just gone four o'clock now. We've rehearsed, we had a really good rehearsal actually. Everybody really enjoyed it. And I didn't even get bored once. I know, I didn't yawn or anything. It's very enjoyable and we've got lots to work on, lots to um, process <laughs> afterwards. Well, I have anyway. I've got this huge page of scribbles. If I don't write that up within the next day or two, I'm gonna forget what they mean. <laughs> but 
anyway, um, people are going now, or gone, and uh, IB and I are going to go and have a walk in the sunshine because it's such a beautiful day. Uh, extraordinarily beautiful. I shouldn't have my jumper on. I should be getting some vitamin D on my skin, actually, thinking about it because we've got baking hot sun coming down. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the next thing. And I think we're going out this evening. Let's see if that happens or not. I don't think we're quite decided yet. I'm still very much enjoying No Mo May. Very beautiful. I really do prefer longer meadows than lawns. Obviously, lawns have their place, and we need lawns for sports and parents and little children to throw balls around to each other and things like that. And yeah, that kind of thing. But anyway, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to go back and find my honey, and we're going to go out. We just parked the car up and uh, heading out of a car park, and we're going up the skirridge. It's a big mountainy thing. Is it a mountain? Well, or is it a hill? A hill? It's over a thousand feet, isn't it? Is it over a thousand feet? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to Google it. Oh, that looks nice over there. Look, look it's all groovy. It all... looks like it's been combed. Going through the portal onto the path here. Ah, oh, oh, lovely. IB doesn't remember this being uphill. I remember it being very uphill. It looks uphill already. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. IB just said, where's that fan when you want it? I'm here! Fan. Uh, I don't know how your memory flattened this out into a flat walk, honestly. No, no, no. It's not remotely flat in any way. <laughs> oh, which way now? Up? <laughs> any chance? <laughs> hey, look at all that ivy there choking up that tree. It is beautiful here today with the weather being the way it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. The lighting's perfect. The birds singing. It's just so nice. A bit hilly though, to be fair. We've come through a little kissing gate. Was it a kissing gate? I don't know, it was a gate. Yeah. And it's a bit flatter now. It's still uphill, but it's a lot flatter than it was. Oh, it's breathtaking, absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. At this time of year with all the greenery and the new green as well, you know, the new shoots coming up. Oh. This is the last bit I be. Oh, make it stop. Make it stop. Oh yeah, oh, it's going downhill a bit. Hey. I think it might be going up again after that though. Can't actually see the summit. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, there's more, there's more reppiness. Oh, what? Look at that view, I be. It's like all pale and milky in the distance. I love the way light does that. Must be science. <laughs> I'm sure there's a very rational explanation for why colours are paler the further away they are. Do you know why that is? What? Why colours are paler further away? Well, it's possibly it's of particles in the air. Particles in the air. So that whilst the air up close looks completely transparent, mm -hmm. could be dust or mist. Well, maybe. What do you think, I commenters? Don't know. Is the answer? Then let us know what you think. Probably is there. Suspension, you yeah. know. Mm, I wondered that. I wondered if maybe more polluted areas had more of it than less polluted yeah. areas. Do they have it on the moon where there is no air? Well, mm. no. Our theory is progressing onto moisture in the air as well now, isn't it? We're progressing. Dust and. Dust and moisture. It's the nettle lover's heaven here right now. Come on then. Up we go. Oh, it's starting to do uh, like clumsy sidestepping now at this point. This is getting ridiculous. And we've so if we go out and play music with dad later as well, we're gonna be exhausted. And we both definitely will need a shower when we get in because we are sweaty. <sighs> to be fair though, it's been quite a good path, well maintained. Coming to some sort of top, hopefully flat for a bit. <sighs> We've come to a bit of an either raw bit, but I think this is the final bit now. I'm going to take that one. I'm guessing they're going to end up in the same place, and uh, this looks flatter. Oh, blimey, what a climb it's been. I tell you what, shocks the system. You just get out of the car, and then you're straight into the extreme climb. I vlogged up here before, actually. My daughter was little, and she was in the videos in those days as well, so you'll see her squeaky as he. And if I remember, she didn't go right to the top. She just, like, went on strike and sat down in the grass, and I zoomed in on her from the top. <laughs> well, she wasn't that little, obviously she was old enough to be sitting on her own with me in eye shot. Oh my goodness, there's a view coming up. We thought the last one was amazing. Oh, look at that though. Oh, wow. That is beautiful and absolutely stunning. Very countrified. And I think that's pretty much the top, I think. We think this might be where Isabel sat down and just refused to move last time. It says, uh, keep on the path at the moment. Revegetation works in progress. Last little bit then, just up there, and then it's all downhill from there. We'll be moaning about our knees coming back down then. We've 
come to the very last bit. Look, it's all steppy, the last little bit. That's funny, I thought I saw a sign now. Here it is. Oh, it's just still saying keep off the path. Maybe, oh, there, is that the summit up there? Oh, I thought we were there. We know what, there's more. That'd better be a trick point after all this. <laughs> come on then, last bit. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Oh, what's that, what's that over there, Ivy? Is that another, the actual summit hiding behind that one? Yeah, I think it's behind that. Oh, I better think it not be. Yeah. It's like the summit that keeps on giving, this one. Every time you think you come to the summit, there's something else. Oh, for goodness sake. So this is what I thought was the summit until that came into view. Look how far away that one is now. <laughs> oh, it'll be dark by the time we get back. <laughs> Much time later, nearly there. And you know what's going to happen? We're going to get up there and we'll look over and there'll be another one even higher. <laughs> I just want to say, Better not be. What? I'm just saying, if there is another one, I'm still going back. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Bad <laughs> enough. It'll be another day's walk. <laughs> oh, not coming back. No, I'm only joking. It's been very beautiful. <laughs> a little further on again, and I've just realised what it is with the skirid. Everything looks a certain size until you get close to it, and then it goes bigger. And this last bit has just got bigger and bigger, and every time I take a step, it's like the next one doubles in length. You know, before I get to it, it's not on. So we got to this bit, and then furtherness appeared in the form of higher up bits. Oh, just, let's just keep going. <sighs> we need a, oh my goodness. After a big long rehearsal as well. Oh, I think that must be it. I think that is the actual top. Not another false top. Please be the actual top. I'm sure we didn't come this... What's that green sticking out beyond there? That extra, more toppage. Flipping is! Oh my! What's that over there? No, just no. Oh, I be. What's going on? Where should? Oh. Where is the? Oh. I thought it was the top. There, that that little bit down there. That was the really really high up thing I could see. Oh, oh my goodness! We are nearing the summit, and hopefully that's not going to magically double the distance away now as we approach it like everything else has we definitely definitely did not come this far before we had no idea this was how far away the summit actually was because we thought we were practically at it right down the bottom where i'd said isabel had sat down it was like a few meters after that no this is our first time ib's going to do you a 360 at the top because if i do a 360 he'll be in it <laughs> something written is that an altitude what does that mean s7287 what's that down here what is it? It's a number, have a look. I can't, I've got the energy. <laughs> oh dear, poor old IB. Look, it's a trick, but we actually did it. We did it. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I thought we were going to have a quickie walk, but we're not. I'm giving the camera to IB. He's going to do a 360 without him in it. <laughs> well, I don't know how fast you want it, but. Yeah, nice and slow, I suppose. Well, I got like Bombershire and maybe Gwent. Probably got Worcestershire somewhere over there. Like the Malvern Hills in the distance, maybe. Do we see the sea at all? Well, the sea, if you can see it, would be. Yeah, maybe. Is that the Bristol Channel over there? You see? Yeah, maybe. Is that England over the other side? Well, it would be if it is the Bristol Channel. So we tested the wind muffs this will. And that one's the Bull Orange. Oh, nice. Rhymes with orange. If you're ever writing a poem and you want a word to rhyme with orange, just write about the Mount Bull Orange in Blind Avon. You got your word. <laughs> Thank you, IB. <laughs> the question for your viewers is Oh, yeah, come on then. Is it a th to be a mountain, is it a thousand feet above sea level or a thousand feet between some datum at the you know, ground before the mountain rises. Okay. Answers in the comments, please. <laughs> I'm guessing it's sea level because the other point is too... Uh, yeah, it's too arbitrary, isn't it? Yeah, too it's random. too yeah. arbitrary. But there must be a lot of land that's above a thousand feet anyway. Mm. You know, it's not that high. Well, we're nearly back, I think. And I'm getting really shaky legs now because we just didn't know what a long and strenuous walk we were going on. We're starving. I've got food to cook when we get back. Thank goodness, something really easy and quick to cook. Because we're going to be late for this session, actually, because we just didn't realise how long that was going to take. Um, so that's a bit awkward. Um, but anyway, yeah, I get shake. I've got shaky legs. I haven't got shaky anywhere else. Normally, when I get the low blood sugar shakes, everything gets trembly. But it's just my literally my legs and feet. So 
I hope you that'll sort out. Had a bit of bread and Philadelphia and Marmite just before leaving the house, actually. So that's kept me going, thank goodness I did. But I would have taken snacks otherwise because I, yeah, I worry about <laughs> getting depleted on strenuous walks. Look, we're back at the car park now. See, I told you it was close. Well, it's not the car park, it's not that lane. Isn't it? Oh, it's the lane. Well, it's flat anyway. <laughs> it's not flat, oh. Yeah, well, yeah, it's fairly flat. Oh no, it's up, it's still a slope. But it's going downwards and that's the main thing. Nearly there, nearly back to the car. Can't wait for food. Can't wait for food. Change plan. So we're heading back to IB's in the car right now. We have not got time. We've seen the time, it's so late. We haven't got time to cook. So we'll cook that dinner tomorrow or for lunch or something. So we're gonna have a shower each very quickly because we are in need and um, <laughs> I literally sweat is pouring off us both and um, then we're going to get a sandwich or something in the garage on the way aren't we just eat it in the car on the way yeah. that way we won't be late hopefully fingers crossed we had very fast showers and we've got out and we've just picked these sandwiches up from a garage got some crisps and a twill to share between the two of us as well hello it's next day me now I didn't film anything really at the session well I took a couple of clips I haven't decided if I'm going to use them because I haven't heard them yet sometimes there's you know there's problems with the clips and I choose not to use them because of lighting or background noise and things like that but anyway if there are any i'll stick them after this in the end screen i uh, just spent most of the session playing to be honest and not filming because i can't play and film at the same time really unless there's somewhere to set up a tripod or something and there generally isn't but anyway thank you so much for watching this video could you please give it a like if you liked it subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more videos from me and i'll see you in the next video bye